Good morning, Situate. It's Monday, October 21st. It looks like we're going to have a couple of nice days, maybe a little uh, spring, summer coming back to us, so we'll get out and enjoy it. Let's start with the water treatment plant update. Uh, this week, we're going to be grubbing the site and removing the stumps and removal of other debris. Those will all continue. We'll continue the installation of the dewatering basin, the installation of the internal roadways of paths and areas for on-site parking. You will also see the construction channels installed this week, so more work going on at the water treatment plant site. From the town clerk, town clerk's office has mailed ballots to voters who requested a mailed ballot. Ballots may be returned by mail, dropped off at the town clerk's office, or in the drop box in front of the town hall. Voters cannot drop their ballots off at the polls, such as high school gym on election day. Please be sure to sign the small envelope and return your ballot promptly for data entry and filing. All ballots cast at the polls on election day. If you've voted early or your mailed ballot has already been received, you cannot vote on the polls on election day. October 29th is the last day to request a mailed ballot. In-person early voting began this past Saturday, will continue to November 1st. Early voting hours are this Saturday, 1026 from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and during normal business hours at Town Hall. November 5th is the state presidential election at Citroen High School Gym, 606 Chief Justice Cushing Highway from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. October 26th at 5 p.m. is the last day to register to vote. You can register at the town clerk's office in person or online at registertovotema.com. If you're in the area of the old gates today, Central Police Department is hosting a joint pro training program with neighboring departments from Monday, October 21st through Friday, October 25th. Training sessions will run from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. This program will provide officers with advanced training in active shooter response and other high-risk situations. <clears throat> it offers an excellent opportunity for situate officers to collaborate with mutual aid partners, ensuring a coordinated response in the event of a critical incident. The training will take place inside the building and is not expected to affect community programs or the public. However, we want to make you aware of it because you will notice increased police activity in that area. It is just training going on. If you're down on Oceanside Drive, you'll notice that there are some antennas being put up along Oceanside Drive. The town is partnering with Woods Hole Oceanog Oceanographic Institute sorry, to place research equipment on this town-owned property in Oceanside Drive for an experiment planned for 2024 through 2026. The equipment will measure ocean surface currents, waves, and winds at high resolution in the area offshore of Situate and benefit both our resiliency planning and research on Massachusetts Bay's water circulation. The equipment consists of a array of eight small antennas mounted on wooden posts that have a clear view of the ocean. Antenna posts and cables will be hand buried to minimize potential impacts on the site. All equipment will be removed at the conclusion of the study. Town Clerk, uh, Town Treasurer, sorry, has asked me to remind people that real estate and personal property taxes are due on Friday, November 1st. Citroen Fire Department will hold its annual open house October 27th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Public Safety Complex, 800 Chief Justice Cushing Highway. Shoot the Flame, Smokehouse, Fire Trucks, and Sparky the Fire Dog will all be present. Come in your firefighters and wear your Halloween costume. There will be free pizza and snacks. If there's no parking at the Public Safety Complex, you can park at the Pippin, Pippin House, 125 Main Lot Road across the street from the fire station. The Affordable Housing Trust wants to remind people that the deadline for the Small Repair Grant Program is fast approaching of October 30th. It's the Small Grant Program provides up to $3,500 in grant funding Double qualified situate homeowners make essential repairs and modifications to their homes for health and safety reasons. This program will also help maintain the quality of situate housing stock and enhance our community. You can go to the town website to the affordable housing page and click on the link to get an application. The town of situate flu vaccine clinic for residents 18 and older is tomorrow, October 22nd, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m and 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at the Situate Senior Center, 333 First Parish Road. You must have an appointment to attend. Go to the Board of Health page on our website. There is a link you can click on to get an uh, appointment for the flu clinic tomorrow. If you're down the harbor, Selco or Water uh, contractor is still working between Beaver Dam and Hadley on Jericho. That is closed, so please use caution and go around that area if you are traversing Jericho Road. Uh, we are announcing that the moderator has asked us to announce that there are openings of both the advisory committee and the capital planning committee. If you're interested, please email the moderator at sitmod at gmail.com. Finally, the Citrus Food Pantry continues to see a rise in need. They are thankful for your assistance. Most needed items at this point, cranberry juice, hot chocolate, black and herbal tea, canned spinach, canned beets, 
quick bread mix, chunky peanut butter, instant potatoes, hamburger helper or no pesticides, and cream of mushroom soup. They can be dropped off at the food pantry during operating hours and the bins behind the old gates, Central Library, Village Market, or Shaw's. They all take donations for the pantry. Meetings this week, for those of you interested, today the Board of Health, Conservation Commission, Economic Development Committee are meeting. Tomorrow night, the Select Board is meeting. The Advisory Board is also posted as Town Council will be discussing uh, bylaw articles that will be on the agenda for this year. And the Housing Authority is meeting. Wednesday, the Capital Budget. And Thursday, the Planning Board and the Advisory Committee. That's what I have for today. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you have a great week.